Bonjour mesdames et messieurs. Being able to replace Sky in a photo sometimes is vital and can make the difference between having a photo doing really well on social media, getting exposed, or even selling it. In this video, and if you see until the end, I'll show you a new software on the market where you can in three clicks replace your Sky is completely free. I have done Sky replacements many times, including on these photos, and some of my best selling photos in gallery are Sky replaced. We live in a complete Photoshop world, but it doesn't mean it has to be bad. Everybody wants to go for the emotional impact, and I think it's a great way that everybody should take an advantage of. So follow me in this video, stay until the end, and I promise you, you will be able to use this software to replace your Sky in three or four clicks. You will be amazed, and it's gonna take your photography to the next level. Give it a shot. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramelly from the incredible city of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. So let me show you this software called Graphics Studio Pro. Now, I have a free version for you that I'm gonna show you that you can use in like literally three clicks to replace your sky. For example, this is a photo that I shot from the terrace of the Louvre. I love this view, it's amazing, it's got a great pyramid, but there is no sky, it's boring. So I'm gonna right click, edit, Graphic Studio Search, which is the version you're gonna get, which is completely free. Click Edit a Copy with Lightroom Adjustment. And by the way, when you install the software, all you have to do is restart Lightroom and it will be installed. So it's really easy. So here I am in the software. You can see the photo is here. I'm gonna click here on Add FX, and I'm gonna to go to Weather FX. And you see here for free, you're gonna get five different skies that I personally picked. Um, I'm gonna take, this was a sunrise, so I'm gonna take this sunrise skies, and I'm gonna click Apply Effect. So right away, it looks kind of awesome. I just wanna show you a few settings. If you follow my channel, you know I have these techniques when I replace sky where I basically take a copy of the sky for the top and then I have a mirror effect which is blurred for the bottom. You can see some of the videos where I do this in Photoshop. The link is below the description of this video. But you don't have to do this with the software, it's amazing. Look at this. The way the software works, it automatically makes a mirror of the sky. If I put this into normal mode, you can see it better. You can see on top, we see all the texture of the sky, and at the bottom, it's all blurred out. You actually can decide the level of the blur. Uh, you can put no blur or a lot of blur. So when you put this in multiply mode, of course, for this to work well, you need a photo that's kind of bright, like the one I had where there is you know, no sky, you know, something like this, where th which is very bright, very uh, sort of overexposed. And now, boom, with the multiply mode, the sky is there. So all I'm gonna do is uh, you can basically de decide the FX strands here. I can make it lower or I can make it stronger. I'm gonna put the reflection all the way. If I don't put the reflection all the way, you can see, we can see some of the textures here uh, at the bottom of the photo. We don't want that. So I'm gonna blur it completely, boom. And then you can do photo brightness, which is like the overall photo brightness. I like to reuse Lightroom as a double development. I don't like to do so much retouching in the software. It's I only use it to put in the sky, but we have one issue. Look, the multiply mode here, we have a lot of textures that's there. Well, first of all, I'm gonna cut it out, but you can move the sky also. You can make this a little bigger, and you can take a brush here. By default, the brush is on off, meaning if you brush, it's gonna do a mask and take the sky out. You don't wanna do it too much, so I'm gonna do like a very low opacity, like 25% and I'm gonna brush on the statue, and you see it becomes yellow. When it becomes yellow, it means you're actually brushing there, okay? And one thing you can do also, uh, sometimes that works well, you can go back here and you can reposition the sky so that it's like more there, so there is, the blur is, is more effective here, that could be a solution to this problem, or I can use the brush and just brush out the effects here. It's so easy to use. Uh, once I'm happy, I'm just gonna click okay, and that's gonna put back the photo into Lightroom. But now you're ready for the magic double development. So I'm back in Lightroom, and the photo is there. I'm gonna crop the photo because this part is too bright for me anyway. So I'm gonna crop the photo here. I'm gonna crop the photo like this, crop it like this. And then I'm just gonna do a double of a development. I'm gonna open the shadows, bring down the highlights really quick. Just do a black point again, do a little white point, and check this out. I'm gonna make a gradient and maybe darken the top of the photo, going back up. I'm gonna do a gradient for the bottom because I think this part here is not really nice. And uh, voila. Okay, let me crop it even more. 
okay? And this is the final result. It looks much more appealing than what I had before. I'm gonna show you this with another photo. So I have this photo here, I'm gonna right click, edit, again the free version, Graphic Studio Surge, and you also have the pro version, and I'm giving you an amazing discount if you buy the pro version. The pro version has got like, over a thousand different effects. This is just like the tip of the iceberg. It's an amazing software and I'm helping them developing this whole software. So I'm gonna to go to add effects and on this one, so weather brush, I'm gonna go and take this crazy sky. In fact, that's exactly where the sun rises when, it, you know, when you're on the Pont des Arts and you're shooting the Pont Neuf, that's exactly where the sky is, where the sun is. So I'm gonna put the sun right behind the um, Ile de la Cité which is this little island in the middle of Paris. And I'm just gonna put the effect a little less strong. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that my reflection blur is all the way at 100%. Let me show you what happens if you don't put it at 100%. Then we can see all the reflection of the sky. You don't want that. Uh, it's, you want it a little bit, but not too much. So like over 75, it's pretty good. Then I'm gonna take a brush. And same idea, you know, small size pretty low opacity and I'm just gonna brush here on the island because I don't want the effect to be there. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna press okay and I'm gonna do a double development in Lightroom. So I'm back in Lightroom, same thing, just open the shadows, bring down the highlights, maybe do a little black and white, which you know is gonna just add some contrast, maybe add a bit of magenta on the overall photo and voila, look at that. In like in three clicks, that's the result we got. That's the before and that's the after. Amazing software. So let me show you the professional version, which you find the link below. This is one last photo. I was at the top of the Printemps, beautiful department store in Paris, shooting toward the sun. It was, everything was blown away. So I'm gonna right click, edit, and this time I'm going to take Graphic Studio Pro. Okay, so here we are in the professional version of this software and don't forget that you have a coupon code to get a great discount on it. The link is below this video. So I'm gonna add and look at this. So on the, on the FX, you've got so many skies now. You have, if you go, for example, you have like lightnings, you can put rain, rain puddle, snow, sunshine, so many things you can put. But right now, I'm just gonna show you in this video, Dramatic Sky. I mean, this software has got over a thousand effects. And the idea of the software is to make great effects without having any knowledge of Photoshop with just a few clicks. It's a great product. So, I'm gonna go and take Sky 18, apply the effect and look at that. Just look at that, one click. It's already blurred for me. It's great, I can make maybe the whole thing a little bit brighter. You know, I don't even think I wanna brush anything on this. I'm just happy. I'm just happy, I press OK, and boom, it's putting it back in Lightroom. Same idea, I'm gonna open the shadows a little bit, maybe bring down the highlights, add a bit of contrast, and check this out. Three clicks and I got this result. That was the before photo, and this is the final result. So download the free version, it's my free gift to you. If you wanna go pro, if you wanna have thousands of effects, buy the full version, it's below the video. Thank you very much, and I will see you in another video.